praise the lord everyone during my bible college days our professor father taught us that two people can have good relationship or a lasting relationship if they are practicing forgiveness forgiveness is the core of any relationship it is the heart of a relationship we need to forgive each other to have a good relationship now i want to share my personal experience so last month i celebrated my birthday and one of my close friends had completely forgotten about it and she couldn't recollect it on top of it she had other plans on the same day and when i got to know this i was really upset and somewhere i had to put this in prayer had to ask the lord and the lord told me to be more compassionate and more kinder towards her sometimes this thing happens with us our loved ones or someone whom we have started caring and sharing our thoughts we might feel that they are not responding to our messages our calls they are not taking any initiative to have a relationship with or with us or friendship we might forget that we are in a different phase right now we are all battling situations and struggles which are different for everybody but they are really difficult so the lord wants us to be more kinder and more compassionate towards each other and therefore we see in 1 corinthians chapter 13 verse 4 onwards love is patient love is kind love is not envious or boastful or arrogant or rude it does not insist on its own way it is not irritable or resentful so love is not irritable i had to forgive and let go of that incident and be kinder towards my friend because probably my friend was going through a trial which i couldn't understand i might feel that my problem is bigger than hers but only god knows what she is going through probably she is going through a bigger problem than me so let us be more kinder and more compassionate because in this time of crisis many of us are going through mental health problems probably physically you might see the person very happy or uh, perfect but mentally they are going through some kind of trials and crisis and it can also be that their loved one is suffering due to which they are suffering so sometimes it is not a direct suffering it can be an indirect way they are suffering or they are going through trials so let us be kind and compassionate and as the word of god says in ephesians chapter 4 words 31 onwards put away from you all bitterness and wrath and anger and wrangling and slander together with all malice and be kind to one another tender hearted forgiving one another as god in christ has forgiven you so let us be compassionate like our lord a lord is a compassionate god and if we can't find any compassionate friend the lord is there waiting because his heart is so soft and uh, so much uh, open to us he really wants to listen to all that we are struggling he really wants to know our battles our joys and our sorrows let him be the first friend we go and let him be the person whom we open our heart and let him uh, give us direction and advice on how to handle the relationships in our lives and how to let go of the pain and the hurt which we are getting from our loved ones sometimes we might take this pain as a personal rejection feeling that the person has rejected us however this might not be the case the person is going through the own uh, own suffering and own problems and that is why the person is probably not calling you or not ready to meet you so let take away this message of becoming more compassionate and more kind hearted and let's imitate our lord jesus and let's love one another thank you god bless you bye bye